We move to Villani Francesca Pia. Yes. Villani Francesca Pia present a thesis uh, titled uh, Development of an Augmented Reality System Based on Marker Tracking for Robotic Assisted Minimal Invasive Spine Surgery. Il relatore è il professor Fran uh, Emanuele Frantoni e il correlatore è la dottoressa Sara Moccia. Ok, good morning everybody and thanks professor Burattini for the introduction. Uh, this thesis has been developed in partnership with the Braille Lab of our university and Vicomtec, a research center in San Sebastian, Spain, and it deals with topics of computer vision and augmented reality applied to the surgical field. Uh, spine surgery is performed nowadays for a great number of uh, pathologies and traumas. The incidence of spine dis spinal disorders has undergone a drastic increase in recent years. In fact, it is estimated that globally 4.83 million of spine surgeries are performed uh, each year. This prevalence led to an evolution of spine surgery into an extremely specialized field. Um, in this scenario, traditional open intervention to the spine uh, have been integrated and often substituted by minimal invasive approaches, which are characterized by small surgical incisions, reduced bleeding, lower risk of infection and morbidity, and low complication rate and shorter recovery time. During the 90s, also surgical robots emerged, and since then they have been used um, in spine surgeries to enhance the, surge the surgeon's abilities, providing an increased accuracy of implant placement and decreasing the invasiveness and the complication. On the other hand, the main disadvantages of minimally invasive approaches are the lack of visibility, redu reduction of the field of view, difficulty in intraoperative identification of anatomical structures and the risk, uh, increased ri risk of injuries. To overcome these uh, drawbacks, recently augmented reality has been introduced. It refers to the superimposition of virtual objects into the intraoperative scene. Augmented reality can support the surgeon by providing intraoperative guidance, information matching, reduction of damage to the patient, and reduction of surgeon cognitive load. In the last decade, several augmented reality systems have been uh, introduced to treat various spinal disease, and one of the most interesting uh, fields in which it can be used is during pedicle screw fixation. Uh, however, even though augmented reality has made advances in the past years, its adoption in the surgical field has been lower than expected because there are uh, still technological barriers uh, for, for which no um, suitable solution seems to exist. This includes the uh, lack of um, ability of the uh, wearable uh, visualization devices to render larger data sets, uh, insufficient frame rate, unnatural delays, and poor precision and uh, inpatient motion tracking. So this work aims to attenuate these problems, developing an augmented reality system for guidance of spine, uh, robot, robotic assisted spine surgeries, improving the uh, real-time market tracking and the rendering performances. The system includes a client-server architecture on which the um, computational intensive um, tasks are uh, offloaded on remote servers and a, a client, um, which is an head mounted device, which is in charge of uh, just render the final frames as a video stream. Um, the client side will be also integrated with a market tracking algorithm to um, track the patient motion with high accuracy. Uh, the tracking algorithm has been developed using Aruco markers and uh, taking as a uh, reference OpenCV, which is an open source computer vision library. The algorithm can be subdivided into four main phases. The first one is an adaptive thresholding, which is used to identify objects in the image. Then uh, contours are defined to keep only uh, borders with four corners. And uh, then uh, the marker is identified by extracting the ID number of each marker in the scene. Finally, if the uh, camera parameters are um, provided by the camera calibration process, also the post can be estimated. The server client architecture has been developed using the 3D streaming toolkit, which is um, a toolkit which allows communication between different peers, and the architecture includes three interconnected applications running at the same time. Uh, the HoloLens client, which receives um, rendered frames from a, a Windows desktop server, and a signaling server, which manages the communication between the first two. For reasons such as control, reliability, transmission speed, a local network has been uh, preferred for communication. 
Then the proposed algorithm has been evaluated using spatial overlap based metrics to estimate the post accuracy uh, of the tracked marker. And then also the runtime and the robustness of the algorithm have been evaluated. Here, there is um, uh, the, uh, are shown the results of the uh, tracking algorithm. As for the runtime, it has been shown that um, the runtime obtained with this algorithm is a bit higher than what find in literature, but as the camera and the computer used for uh, processing the frame have an influence on the runtime, uh, this result is most likely uh, due to uh, the chosen hardware. Here, uh, on the video on the left, is, it is possible to appreciate the uh, accuracy of the algorithm in identifying only Aruco markers while discarding other candidates that uh, do not uh, satisfy a requirement to be classified as uh, markers. Um, here, it is possible to observe results from simulation videos created with Adobe After Effects, which is a, a software used for animation, and they have been used to evaluate the, the algorithm in a simulation of an intraoperative uh, scene and to evaluate the ability of the algorithm to uh, identify and track a marker in a more crowded uh, scene. Uh, results of the uh, spatial overlap based metrics show that in optimal condition, the uh, specificity have a very high uh, value. And this is uh, most likely due to the small dimension of the marker in the scene, uh, which leads to the identification of a lot of true negative. Uh, also, the uh, dice coefficient has an interesting value. Uh, the dice coefficient is one of the most used uh, index in validating segmentation. And in addition to the direct comparison between um, manual and ground truth segmentation, it is used to evaluate the repeatability of the segmentation. So this high value suggests that the marker is often um, identified in the correct position. While uh, these same results for a condition of reduced light and partial occlusion show a very uh, small value of the uh, dice coefficient, which means that often the marker is identified, uh, but in, in the wrong position. About findings on the capability of the algorithm to correctly identify markers in, a, in condition of partial occlusion, uh, results show that uh, the noise resilience decreases up to 47% in con while covering the marker with a wrinkled foil, uh, which um, could be a problem during a surgical intervention. In fact, to guarantee sterile covering, the marker is often wrapped uh, in a transparent foil, which should be as smooth as possible to um, avoid the uh, light uh, reflection Action, which leads to a drop down of the detection rate. While for lighting criteria, it has been found that uh, reducing the light, so in condition of black light, the um, detection rate decreases up to 3.5%. However, this, um, this scenario is not likely to happen into an, an operative room. Uh, in the second part of the results uh, will be shown some of the qualitative results uh, relative to the communication between uh, the server and client. In these images, it is possible to see the desktop client connected to the signaling server and receiving up to 63 frames per second. On the right, an example of a spinal cord implemented on a DK server and transmitted to the desktop client. While on these videos, it, they have been um, directly recorded on HoloLens and they show the uh, HoloLens client receiving frames um, through the 3D streaming toolkit architecture. And uh, these frames uh, have been implemented on Unity servers and show the model of a surgical robot and a vertebra uh, respectively. So uh, results obtained show that the algorithm is able to uh, accurately identify and track markers uh, present in the scene. And also real-time communication has been successfully set between the client and the, um, and the server. And the client is able to achieve up to 60, uh, 63 frames per second, which is a promising result as the final goal of um, using augmented reality in is of at least 30 frames per second for each eye uh, to um, display a synchronized visualization of virtual and real images. At present, the client-server system is still at an early stage, but further analysis will be necessary for performance improvement regarding the tracking algorithm for different life condition and external environment disturbances, and also the integration of the tracking algorithm directly in the headset system is necessary to be used in surgical field. Uh, there is also the need to improve the uh, server to obtain stereoscopic volume rendering and achieve uh, augmented visualization in real time. 
Researches on these topics will be conducted as this work will be uh, submitted to the Conference on Virtual Reality and 3D User Interfaces. Thank you for your attention. I have uh, just uh, one small question. Maybe I missed it. This algorithm was developed by you or was uh, uh, an already uh, available algorithm that you tested? Because okay. I, at one point I heard it was from uh, from a toolbox or something like that. Yes, um, the algorithm is based on OpenCV, which is a, um, an open source computer vision library that has been used and adapted to the need of this study. So the main um, classes, the main function used for this algorithm are already existing and are based on this library. But then it has been adapted to be used uh, um, firstly as a desktop client and later also uh, it has been adapted to be used uh, directly on HoloLens. Uh, in fact, to be used on HoloLens, an algorithm should be um, of the standard of the universal a Windows platform, uh, so uh, starts from an already existing library, but then has been uh, adjusted. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions? No. Okay.